is a 2018 Mustang GT Premium with the performance pack. And as you can see, I do work at a BMW dealership, but I've wanted a Mustang for a long, long time. And this one with the 10 speed automatic, 460 horsepower for such a low price, relatively low price, I think is a uh, great deal. And you get that five liter V8, you know, this S550 platform is really much better than the S197, but, um, and you can't beat the rumble. The rumble of the V8, you really can't beat that. Ventilated seats, heated seats. It's got the new Sync 3. Apple CarPlay and everything. So I'm just test driving the car right now and this A10 transmission is crazy. It just bangs through the gears and it goes next gear, next gear, next gear so fast. And since there's 10 gears, it's always going down gears something to get used to. I'm pretty used to the uh, German 8-speed automatics or 7-speed dual clutch, but it's different and uh, it's quick. The downshifts, they're not crazy aggressive. They don't blip the throttle extremely hard, but the upshifts, gear you can't even feel it shift the pull is consistent man that's crazy I love it I love it that naturally fast rate of V8 this car will be fun fun and different from uh, turbocharged cars This is it, I just got my first car. Well, purchased my first car. I had a first car, to which was purchased cash. This is the first finance and uh, it's a 5.0. So that's this is quite exciting. And it's funny because I'm buying a car when I work at BMW. I bought the car at BMW, but it's a Mustang. So anyways, it's gonna be exciting and uh, probably make more videos on this look at these ambient lighting oh you can't really see it but oh named it by my first car or something like that so it is the 2018 Mustang GT uh, performance pack Mustang GT premium performance pack um, it is not my first car I do have another vehicle which is my quote-unquote daily driver it is a 2013 GTI and I've had that car for about six years since 2013 now the reason why this is my technical first car is I financed this car myself. Uh, my first car, I was fortunate enough to have my mom and my dad help me with it. And also I put in a little bit of my money that I've saved up over time to uh, purchase that first car. So I don't really count that. Plus the first car was bought cash, which uh, hindsight 2020, terrible decision. Don't do that. If you're thinking about buying a car, don't save a few 
thousand dollars just because you don't want to finance it um, you will not have car credit and that is a bad idea and we I can I can talk about that in another video if you guys want to but uh, yeah that's why I said this is my first car still um, seems unreal to me I don't think it's sunken in because the payment hasn't came yet but when it does I'm probably gonna be like crap but in another video I'm gonna go in detail on why I chose the 2018 Mustang um, when I work at a BMW dealership and have been with BMW for the past two and a half years uh, but yeah I just wanted to do a little bit of a talk on why I Kind of said this was my first car even though it's not i do still have my other vehicle as well so i can also make videos on that if you guys are interested but uh for those of you who don't know i am in the car industry i do work with bmw and i've worked with a lot of brands in the two years that i've been in the car industry so i think i can uh, throw some valid opinions to those of you guys watching and uh Come up with some good points and debates for those of you who are interested to see that but i will definitely start to make a lot more videos like this where i talk and engage with you guys definitely a lot more content on this vehicle as well um i want to share it with the world i want to document everything and i just really want to grow this channel so for those of you who are interested in car content interested in a little bit of a vlog car like content please uh please subscribe please like the video please help me out and throw in ideas throw in ideas so i can uh, make it a lot more interesting for you guys but i have come up with a few things that i do want to make a video on um stick shift why did i go with a manual uh why did i go with the automatic what the automatic is like i have a lot uh that i have planned on making so Anyways, uh, if you're interested, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.